Hi guys, today I have a Mimi box to talk to you about today and please say hello to our special guest Sharon Needles. <sighs> if only it was really her, but moving on. Today I want to talk to you about the Soothing Sister box. Yes, I'm probably the last person in the whole Mimi box land to receive this box and that is because So let me actually give the box a twirl because it's such a cool looking box. Uh -oh. Yes. So first up, as usual with collaboration boxes, they have the base on the description card. Beautiful. That is Stephanie of Soothing System. I'm not going to read the whole box description. I'm just going to get straight into the items. So the first product is the Visioni Super Aqua Soothing Serum, 30 mils, $29. No carbomer, no silicon, no artificial ingredients, and no chemical preservatives whatsoever. It's true that Visioni Super Aqua Soothing Serum may smell less pleasant and not as quick to absorb as that of other brands. However, this is because Visioni takes great care in selecting only skin beneficial, non chemical ingredients for its 100% natural formula. Two thumbs up from me, because I definitely prefer organic natural stuff. I try to put as little chemical crap on my face whatsoever. But yes. Um it contains oops, just drop the cap. It contains high concentrates of sea grape and rich and is rich in sea minerals, vitamins and nutrients. Rice bran, hyaluronic acid, mushroom ferments, aloe vera and lots of other stuff apparently. The ocean energy will deeply replenish, brighten up and smooth and dry dulled complexion. Now, I don't think this smells odd whatsoever, it smells absolutely fine to me and I found it absorbs just like normal, I didn't think it stayed on my face whatsoever. So, give you a quick swatch, it's kind of almost translucent but not quite white consistency and it I can't really describe the smell. It's not. It doesn't attack my senses whatsoever. So I don't know why the description said that. But yes, it's very lightweight and yeah, it's just really nice and hydrating. I look forward to adding this to my set skincare routine once I run out of my Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum because I plan on using this for mornings. So yeah, just show you that. Yep, that is that. I really enjoy that. Also, let me just tell you that I haven't used everything in this box and that is simply because I have been absolutely loving my current skincare routine. I've been kind of hesitant to try or add anything else into it, but I have used this because it is natural, so it's not irritated my skin whatsoever. That's the way I was Right, next product is the Tony Moly Egg Pore Blackhead Steam Balm, 30 grams, $11. Excuse me. <coughs> yes, $11. A self-heating steam balm that opens up clogged pores by warming the skin with its blend of sulfur hot spring water and heating agent. The more you massage it into, fa into the face, the three kind of scrubs, white salt, charcoal powders and egg yolk, work to thoroughly remove all blackheads, whiteheads, dead skin cells, and dead skin scales, ugh, and dead skin cells, piled up inside in large pores, rich in calcium, various minerals, acetic acid, amino acid, and vitamins. It also delivers deep nourishment, control excess sebum, and prevent skin dehydration. Now, I actually really enjoy this product. I wouldn't say it gets rid of everything, all the impurities, but it does a good enough job. Like I said, it doesn't get rid of everything, but Yes, I really like the packaging. The whole egg thing. Open it up. That is actually just how much is in there. It's not the whole egg. It's got a protective cap. And that is what it looks like. It's a really, really thick gel. Don't know if you can actually see all the random beads inside there, the exfoliating particles. And it has a kind of lemony citrusy scent but it's a sweet lemon scent so I don't mind it too much but yes I actually really enjoy this um, as it said you massage it onto a clean dry face and it kind of 
actually I've got some on my hands so I might as well show you just pop them there there it is right there and when you massage it I don't know if you can see it's turning kind of white and it does heat up it doesn't feel really hot it's just kind of a lukewarm feeling almost can you see that that it's turning white I don't know but yes it does turn white on your face and I usually massage it in for about five minutes just because it feels nice to massage my face but yes enjoy that product and I find it does really help to clear out my pores right let's try and close that properly okay. third product is the Shara Shara Miracle Capsule Cream 50 nails $18 now this is one of the products I haven't tried this Miracle Capsule Cream is an anti-wrinkle moisturiser enriched with glacier water and nourishing capsules containing 24 kinds of oil complex. Deliver instant moisture surge and supple firmness to dry, tired face as, letting, as if letting the skin take a rejuvenating winter sleep. It will take care of dry patches and protect from external damages by locking in moisture within the skin. So like I said, I've been loving my skincare routine, so I've been hesitant to try this. Um, Oh, it does actually have the ingredients in English on the side and by the looks of it it looks alright I guess not totally natural so I'm not sure if I will give this a go eventually or not but it looks like that the packaging is cute it's got a cute little bear there and he's up on the top as well just having a nap and then you open it up, as always, protective cap, and it's just a clear gel consistency, and it's really runny, so I'm afraid to tip it over too much. And oh, I got it on my nose. The scent is not really, it kind of just smells like hair gel. I don't, I don't know if that sounds weird, but that's what it smells like to me, and it is does have a lightweight feel when I apply it onto my hand. Mm, I'll guess I'll update you if I do end up using it on my face. I mean it's quite messy, it's getting all over the cap and I've only opened it twice so but that's not relevant at all but yes that is that. I guess maybe I could use it for the day. I think it'd be too light for night time because I like gel lightweight stuff for the daytime rather than evening so yeah so that is the third product fourth product is the etude house goodbye pore ever primer essence 20 mils 11 dollars quickly minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines and help makeup adhere better for a long lasting finish the silky lightweight formula can be worn, ugh, worn worn under makeup to fill in uneven skin texture and visible pores creating a smoother than smooth canvas and mattifying excessive oil and shine. Its gentle formula consists of both sebum control powder and moisturizing essence component. Thus, it works to control excess sebum while maintaining a healthy moisture balance at the same time. Now, I have previously owned this product before, hence why I haven't opened this up, and it just didn't work well with my skin. Um, I don't think it quite... I'm losing words here my skin is way 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 too oily for this to work I mean if you are normal combination slightly oily this may work well for you but I have giant pores and very very oily skin so unfortunately this did nothing whatsoever for me so I haven't used it yeah so I may give this away to someone I'm not entirely sure yet but yes so yeah, I think it'd be better suited for normal combination skin types rather than actual oily skin ladies out there. But it does feel nice on the skin, I have to give it that. It doesn't have a silicone, well it does slightly have a silicone feeling, but it's more kind of a moisturising feel more than anything. So that is that. Next product is the Dewy Tree Deep Detox Black Mask. Three dollars. The facial mask that clarifies skin pores and rejuvenates dull, dull skin with volcanic scoria clay from Jeju Island, containing rare minerals. It also 
Ugh. It's also formulated with charcoal powder, papaya extracts, grapefruit extracts, walnut shell powder, and centella asiatica extracts to detoxify and revitalize the skin. Now, I have used the ginseng mask version of this, and I do enjoy it, and I just find it really cool that it's a black, black mask, so you kind of look creepy, so it's a good thing to open a door with when you've got someone locking the door, but yes, I haven't used it yet because I have a ton of masks that I still have to go through so don't know when I'll get around to it but yeah I do really enjoy the Dewey Tree black mask so that's that, sorry about the light but yes that is that right sixth product is the Vito painting matte finish lipstick $30 really? $30? wow I did not realise it was $30 that's overpriced in my opinion but yes I got the shade sour red and you get a shade randomly selected from sour red red sun red ribbon raspberry purple and orchid purple and they are all rather bright shades a three effect matte lipstick that smoothly glides on with a creamy texture stains they totally misspelled stain <laughs> Stains lips with a highly pigmented radiant colour in just a single swipe. It leaves lips velvety, soft and super matte without being dry and flaky. And I have to admit the description is pretty spot on. It does have a stain and it does last pretty well and it's not super drying for a matte shade. So that's what it looks like. I like that there's kind of a design on the inner packaging thing. Let me show you. So, bright, bright orangey red, I guess. Yeah, orangey red. It's showing up way more orange on camera than it is in real life. But oddly enough, when I first used it, it had more of a pink on the tone. I don't know if that was just the lighting I was in, but yes, that is what it looks like. Let me just swatch for you. Yeah, definitely when I swatch it, it has a more of a pink undertone. But I doubt you'll be able to see that on camera. It's probably going to show up a lot more orange. Uh, yeah, you can actually kind of see the pink undertone. So it's really weird. But yeah, I actually do enjoy this shade. But I have so many red lipsticks now. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this. Though I do enjoy it. But yes, the Vivito lipsticks are quite sought after. And the Mimi Box groups on Facebook. So I may just pass it on to someone. Yeah, nice shade that. And the final product is the Reverson Blooming Collagen Tox Sleeping Water Pack, 90 mils, $18. A nourishing sleeping pack, a nourishing fa sleeping facial pack formulated with snail mucus extracts, bird nest extracts, aloe vera leaf extracts, orange zest, Japanese prickly ash berries, pask flower extracts, osnia extracts, ugh, so many extracts and cypress water. Gela vitamin capsules will absorb deep into the skin to replenish, firm up and balance out an even skin tone. I really should start speaking slower so I don't mess up my words but hey ho. So it looks like so. It's a pretty big jar I mean but though there's, I don't know if you can see, there's not actually as much product in there so the huge jar is so unnecessary. Usual and um, that is that. Don't know if it's focusing, but can you see those little white capsules inside? Yes. It's it does have a scent. Uh, not overly fond of the scent. I did actually try this out last night. I know I was being risky, adding something to my beloved skincare routine, but I thought let's give it a go. So you, I did use it as a sleeping pack last step of my routine and about 30 minutes later my face got really itchy I mean my skin didn't ha actually have any reaction as in I didn't get any acne breakouts or rashes it just didn't work with my skin it just made me itchy so that was unfortunate uh, yeah that is the entire soothing 
sister box and I've actually had this for the past week I've just not gotten around to filming because I wanted to try out a few of the products first so yeah um yeah fairly good box finally up I finally we <laughs> why is wrong with me happy that I have finally received it there we go so yeah let me just remind you that on my previous video I did mention a giveaway so if you've not seen that go ahead and watch that video and enter the giveaway you can win a box full of Korean beauty goodies and yeah that is that I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye